Spencer the Mechanic. Today I'm changing the new fuel pump for Honda Odyssey. From 1999 to 2004, it's the same fuel pump. Okay? Uh, first of all, we have to take the negative battery out and positive battery out for safety, okay? I know, I know. You're gonna say, all you have to do is take a negative out. You never know. It could be an accident somewhere and uh, somebody like uh, play with it or something like that and this wire can be touching each other and uh, the electric can come back and the car can be blow up I'm taking out all the carpet, all the chairs first before I do anything it's kind of dark right now, it's getting dark okay and the fuel pump is right here uh, this is all the stuff, I took it out all the chairs, carpet, everything out before I can find the location of the fuel pump okay the fuel pump is located right here right here I'm ahead of the game you have you need all you need is a simple tool you need a, a screwdriver hammer and another flat big flat screwdriver and you probably don't need this I'm using this for just just to blow the dust out uh, the fuel pump is right here Take four screw out with the screwdriver. One, two, three, four. Take this out, put on the side. Then you're gonna see um, the clip here. Clip is really easy, okay? Just use your finger right here. Uh, pressure right here. Let me see, let me go to the other side so you can see. Use your finger um, right here, clip this and pull it out, okay, with two hands. One hand, clip this, pull it out. Another hand, same thing, two hands, clip it out. And you have a, a switch here. With your finger here, you clip it down and pull it out, okay? Really simple, really simple, really easy. And uh, gas pump shouldn't be coming out, okay? Uh, the next thing you have to do is get the screwdriver and hit around here like that with the hammer okay I already took it out with the hammer with a I use a little hammer right here I hammer take it out after that you just uh, turn with your hand move all of this out switch out and move this to the side okay there's a, a little trick here uh, they're gonna have their own filter in the back up here when you pull this out Pull it out and shake it a little bit. Curve to the side. Just curve to the side, okay? Hold on, there's a there's a hole here. It's holding that. Curve to the side like that, okay? Like that. See the, the angle and just pull it out this way, okay? This is the new the own own fuel pump. Uh, right there. So uh, the new ones cost about two hundred forty-nine dollars, and I'm use I'm using just the fuel pump uh, under hundred dollars. Uh, I'm gonna take all of this out and put a new uh, fuel pump in there. The reason fuel pump this fuel pump is dead is because uh, because <clears throat> somehow that. Um, the water got into the tank somehow but I don't know I'm not gonna say nothing I'm not gonna say somebody did it or anything like that uh, inside here there's a, a water mixing with the gasoline and it hurt the uh, fuel pump okay listen the, the fuel pump is dead is because of that uh, another reason <clears throat> Excuse me. Another reason is uh, the fuel pump is is, is gone. It's gone dead. Is because uh, it's old. It's since uh, 1999 until 2015, like a uh, 16 years old or more than that. Okay, so that's why uh, the fuel pump is gone. Spencer the mechanic. The way you take it out the way you put back in okay that's all you have to do it's really simple 
Anybody can do it. You're gonna save a lot of money for the labor. The labor is about two fifty to three hundred dollars to do this. You know, because people, uh, you know, the other mechanic will scare you away. Like, oh, it's gonna take out a fuel pump like a nuclear war or nuclear weapon or whatever it is. Just don't listen to nothing. You try to get it out yourself. It's really simple. It's really easy. After you've done that, all you have to do is put the battery wire back together when you're done okay and start the car turn the car like click the key like three times click don't turn on the engine then click again don't turn on the engine and click the third time then you turn on the engine okay that's how you do it thank you for watching Spencer the Mechanic, see you next video.